Twelve suspects linked to a fake gold cam syndicate have been arrested in a crackdown by detectives from the operations support unit in Nairobi's Runda estate. During the operation, investigators seized key evidence including counterfeit gold, spray paint and padlocks used to create the fake gold. The arrests followed a scam in which two foreign nationals were duped into purchasing 35 kilograms of fake gold, losing over 5 million shillings in the process. Citizen TV's Ben Kirui reports some of the suspects are known repeat offenders who face multiple fraud charges in court and are expected to face additional charges related to this latest scam on Wednesday. <laughs> All that glitters is not gold, and what you are looking at here is pure deception. Two foreigners were swindled into purchasing the fake gold, losing over 5.2 million Kenya shillings in the process. The foreigners, who were lured to Kenya on September 4, 2024 by the scammers, were convinced to purchase 35 kilograms of gold through three separate transactions. However, after making the payments, they were taken on a wild goose chase and the gold was never delivered. Detectives, acting swiftly after complaints were made, raided the high-end Runda estate in Nairobi and arrested 12 individuals linked to the fake gold syndicate. So how did these Dubai-based gold traders, clearly familiar with the business, fall into the hands of these fraudsters? <laughs> The answer lies in the very offices raided by the detectives. The office of the syndicate's director is extravagantly decorated with what appear to be gold adorned walls, a beverage jar that looks golden, and even flags, one Kenyan and the other of the East African community, adding some sense of legitimacy to the scam. Among the exhibits recovered is a Subaru vehicle, complete with a siren which is reportedly being used to escort unsuspecting clients from the airport, only for them to later become victims of the scam. Also seized were crucial tools like spray paint and padlocks used to create the fake gold. <laughs> the suspects, all known repeat offenders with ongoing fraud cases in court, are said to have a powerful connections within government cycles, which have reportedly shielded them from past actions. They will be arraigned in court on Wednesday to face charges of fraud. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.